Well, this looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Got a good little system down right here. <laughs> Look at all of the stuff you guys have pulled out. <laughs> I know. Dang. It's crazy. This looks like a wrap, but look over where Ryan's at. I'm going to have to zoom in to see where Ryan's at. He's so far <laughs> over there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It is satisfying though. <laughs> <laughs> All these people that think fishing is fun. Look at this. I mean, that's a lot to show for it. We get a catch every time. <laughs> <laughs> so is that going like all the way down to the bottom or just at the top? Um, we're doing the top right now and then we're going to slowly start going to the bottom and start pulling. But yeah. It's getting there. dangerous catch. <laughs> <laughs> There's something we should know about. I know. Came to get a look at your haul. Yeah, look at all that. Man. Look at all that that came out. <laughs> does a pretty good job of pulling this stuff yeah, out. Yeah, it does. This is the system we got. It works very well.
Oh no! <laughs> For those who have been following us for a while, you know that this stuff that we are pulling up out of the lake is called hydrilla. It's an invasive weed that is taking over lakes all over the south, and it is just obnoxious. We have tried chemical sprays. We have tried carp. There is a special type of grass carp, and we were able to get a permit for 200 of those was the most that they would allow us in this 18-acre lake to try and eat this stuff, but it just grows so fast. And so this area where the tigers come down to swim, we wanted to keep it as clear of that as we possibly can. And the only way to do that is just keep raking this area and pulling it out by the roots as best we can. The problem is that every time you break off a piece of it, it creates a new one of itself. So it's kind of a losing battle until the cat, the grass carp catch up and are able to eat more of it.